In this video, I'll show you how to use the site auditor. So once you log in as administrator, click on SEO tools and then scroll down to where you see the site auditor tab and go ahead and click on that. So before we get into this, let me explain what this does. This allows you to pretty much index your site and analyze it using various tools that this section provides you with. So the first thing you should do is click on the new project button and then select which website you want. Select the maximum number of pages to be checked and unfortunately the maximum number that SEO Paint allows is 500. And then if you want, you can exclude any links. And to do that, just insert the links here with a comma, and they will not be shown in any of the reports. If you want, you can check Google page rate of pages, the default option to no, know. And the reason for that is that there are other tools in SAP that does this for you. But if you want everything under a centralized location, then you can select yes. If you want to check the backlinks of the pages, select yes. If you want to check pages indexed or not, select yes. If you want to store all links found in the page, select yes. And if you want to check if there are any broken links on the page, select yes. Now bear in mind that this will increase the execution time of the project. And then execute with cron, select yes, and then click proceed. So now the site has been added. And there you go. And then next, if you want to generate the report, under the action, select the tab and select one project and then select OK. And then as you can see, the project is running. And then as you can see, every 20 seconds, it will crawl a new page because this is what it is set to by default in the auditor setting. So let's go to that. Yeah. So in the settings, the maximum numbers of pages that you can crawl is 500, which was discussed previously. And it says the site auditor crawl delay between pages is 20 seconds. So if you want to decrease this, you can, but I would not recommend doing this because by doing so, it may set off some alarms with the website that you are crawling. Now, if you're crawling your own website, or if you're crawling a client's website, then this shouldn't be much of an issue. But if you're crawling your competitor's website, then you know your IP will be shown in their logs, and it could raise some red flags or some suspicious behavior, and you could end up getting blocked if you set the crawl down. If you set the crawl time to something like one or five seconds. So I would recommend at a bare minimum, keeping it at 20 seconds, but you can always increase the time in which you crawl a page. Next, I'm going to click on the sitemap generator, and this will allow you to create a sitemap of the site that you have indexed. And if you want, you can select the change frequency, which I will recommend doing weekly. And I'll recommend doing this automatically. If there are any URLs on your site that you do not care to rank, then you can exclude these within your sitemap. Some examples may be about us or contact us page or even an FAQ page. You can insert the links that you want and then separate them by a comma. And then once you're done, just click on proceed and then the sitemap will be generated. As you can see, you can just click on it and download it. And then last but not least, you can check the auditor reports. So to do that, just click on the tab and then you can see the project that you have added, what type of report you want, such as the link reports, report summary, duplicate title, duplicate description, or duplicate keywords. You can see if it's been crawled or not. You can see the pages that have been crawled. You can see the, the page rank of each page, how many backlinks each page got in Google, how many back weeks and getting being how many pages are indexed and a whole bunch of other viable information that's extremely important to SEO and then under the action you can check the page details which will tell you information about each page this is very important especially if you want to spy on competitors it allows you to have everything under a central location 
and then you can also print this page from your browser as well.